Deputy Secretary General, Principals of the UN Rome-based Agencies, Distinguished Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen. This United Nations Food Systems Summit must be the moment when our global food systems undergo a hard reboot. That means driving structural change, making tough decisions and bringing diverse voices to the decision-making table. This need for change was underlined by a new UN report which found that almost 90% of global agricultural subsidies paid to farmers every year are actually doing immense harm. They damage people's health and fuel the climate crisis. Converting land for agricultural use has led to an almost unbelievable 70% reduction in biodiversity across the world. This is just one stark example of how our food systems are on an unsustainable trajectory. Yet, no single actor has sufficient power on their own to steer such a complex system in a new direction. But together, we can press the reset button. This change needs to be sparked and driven at the country level. That is why the Food Systems Summit dialogues organized by 148 governments are so critical and must continue. They are founded upon the principles of inclusion and participation which are key to reformulate the governance of our food systems. The dialogues need to include all stakeholders from farmers, consumers, nutritionists and economists to indigenous peoples, women and young people. They are now leading to the design of bold new national food system pathways and ultimately to ambitious action that can end hunger, improve livelihoods and avert a climate catastrophe. The United Nations Development Program is proud to support these dialogues in now 30 countries. In the wider sense, UNDP is working to connect global agendas around climate, biodiversity, governance, resilience, inclusion and poverty at the country level. To give just one example, over the past 13 years, UNDP has supported nearly 5 million smallholder farmers to implement climate smart agriculture. The challenge now is sustaining this new energy around the design of 21st century food systems. We know that building the effective multi-stakeholder collaboration required for such pathways is complex. Therefore, post-summit, a new mechanism situated within existing UN structures could play a crucial role. It would provide the advice and expertise that member states need as they set sail on their unique food systems transformation journey. As ever, the entire United Nations family will be on hand to offer the level of support that is needed and requested. And together we have a collective obligation to deliver strong outcomes at the Food Systems Summit. This will be vital to not only accelerate a green recovery that will get the Sustainable Development Goals back on track, our very future now depends on it. Thank you.